Okay. I know it didn't go exactly the way I said it might go last night, uh, but still, we learned a lot. A lot of good things happened for our side. Yes, the fake news, they're horrified that their precious Joe Biden got interrupted several times, and maybe there was uh, a little bit too much of that, but we learned a lot. Joe Biden refused to condemn Antifa. Did you catch that? He would not offer full-throated support of law enforcement. And at times, he was all over the place on the New Green Deal. And at a certain point in that debate, he ran out of energy. It looked like the meds started to wear off. All right, so we're going to go through it. But remember first, Joe Biden is running with the promise to restore norms and honor and dignity and all that presidential stuff that he thinks he's so good at. Watch this. How you doing, man? How you doing, man? What does he think? He's Wendy Williams? This is not 1974. Joe Biden is still locked in the early to mid-1970s. That's when he stopped growing intellectually, culturally. That's where he's locked. He goes around slapping people five. Uh, that was highly inappropriate to call a political rival. Who is the president? Man, how you doing, man? There was a lot more of that. He told the president to shut up, called him a clown. Oh, and uh, he got away with so much because the moderator, Chris Wallace, cut him all kinds of slack. Are you willing to tell the American people tonight whether or not you will support either ending the filibuster or packing the court? Whatever position I take in that, that'll become the issue. The issue is the American people should speak. You should go out and vote. You're in voting now. Vote and let your senators know how you strongly you feel. Court? Let Vote now. Are you pack the Make court? sure you, in fact, let people know he doesn't you're want to a answer senator. The question. I'm not going to answer the question. Why because, would you answer that because question? Because the you question is, the question Supreme is, Court is the radical question, left. Will you shut who is up, on, man? Listen, who is on your list, Joe? This Who's is on your so list? right. Gentlemen, this is, I think this we've is ended so this. He's going to pack the court. We have ended. not going to give a list. We have ended this segment. We're going to move on to the second segment. By the way, good for the president for pressing for an answer because Chris Wallace wouldn't. You see, he got away with it, didn't commit to not stacking the court or stacking the court, just said go out there and vote. And he got away with it right in front of the moderator. We'll have a lot more on him in just a bit. And also, shut up. Come on, man. Joe, you're not supposed to say that. You're supposed to be the one all about norms. Oh, this is a kind of a long exchange, but watch what happens when it comes to law enforcement, Antifa, um, extremism. There's a lot here. Are you willing tonight to condemn white supremacists and militia groups sure. and to say that they need to stand down and not add to the violence in a number of these cities, as we saw in Kenosha and as we've seen in Portland? Sure, Are you I'm prepared to, to do specifically that, but do it? Well, I, go would ahead, say, I would say almost everything I see is from the left wing, not from the right so wing. So what, 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 you, you what are you saying? I'm, I'm willing to do anything. I want to see well, peace. Then do it, sir. Say I'm, it. Do it. Say it. Do you want to call them? What do you want to call them? Give me a name. Give me a white name. White supremacists and right boys. White supremacists and right boys. Stand back and stand by, but I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what, somebody's got to do something about Antifa and the left, because this is not a right-wing problem. This is, this is a left-wing problem. This is a left-wing problem. White supremacist. Antifa's an idea, not an organization. Oh, you got it. Not kidding. militia. That's what oh, his it's an FBI... Idea. FBI, his okay. FBI director Gentlemen, said. Well, we're then gonna, you know what? No, 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 we're done, we're done, sir. The important thing there, Joe Biden would not condemn Antifa. Antifa, they're responsible for so much damage in this country and across the world. He says because it's an idea, not an organization. Well, actually, there's evidence that it is an organization, notwithstanding the FBI director. But how about condemning an idea? That was very, very revealing. And by the way, they play this game with the president about uh, condemning white supremacy. Uh, they have told themselves, they've convinced themselves that he hasn't done it. They're all wrong. They're either lying or they purposely ignore the truth, which I guess is the same thing as lying. But uh, at that key moment in the wake of Charlottesville, the president said it out loud. They refused to buy it, though. And you had people, and I'm not talking about the neo-Nazis and the white nationalists, because they should be condemned totally. There it is. Chris Wallace should know that by now. Joe Biden, 
I don't think he knows that much. But uh, all right. Also, when it came to law enforcement, this guy was hemming and hawing all over the place. He doesn't have any what, law what you, support. Look, he has no law enforcement That's support. not true. Almost that's nothing. Not, that, look. Oh, really? Who do you have? Name one group that's a... Go look, ahead. Look, think. We have time. We don't have time to do no, anything. No, no. Think so about it. <laughs> look, Name folks, one law enforcement folks. group that came well, I think, out and I think, gentlemen, I think I'm going, to I'm going to take back the there moderator's are, role, I and, I want, and I want to get to another subject. Again, Chris Wallace letting Joe Biden off the hook at key moments. You know, they got the format, two minutes is up or whatever, but he did say before this thing that he wanted to be invisible, and sometimes you let it go. You do that as a talk show host. You let segments go long. You blow off commercial breaks. I do it all the time, and there's a time and a place, and that was the time and the place. No commercials, by the way. All right. Hunter Biden. I thought we'd hear a lot about Hunter Biden. I mean, Chris Wallace should have brought him up. I mean, there are serious questions about this guy, how he got that money. We know about Russia and at least there's controversy about it. And just this week, a Senate report said he got three and a half million dollars from the wife of the mayor of Moscow. Talk about weird. Anyway, what happened there? We've already been through this. I think the American people would rather hear about more substantial so subjects. Well, you know, yes. as the moderator, sir, I'm going to make a, know, a judgment when call here. Three and a half million okay, dollars right. from the let's mayor about, of Moscow. Let's talk is about not true. It's a gentlemen, that report is totally Why discredited. I, I, I Mitt think, Romney on that committee said it wasn't worth taxpayers' gen, money. That report it was written for political you, reasons. You know, I'd like to talk about climate change. So would I. Okay. I think, quite frankly, Joe Biden or Hunter Biden is a bit more interesting than climate change at that moment. I mean, I was very, very frustrated. Um, but we know this. Joe Biden does not have a good answer for the Hunter Biden situation. His son, he doesn't. Can't explain a lot of that stuff. And again, Chris Wallace just stepping in right at the nick of, the time, nick of time to help Joe. Um, all right. So about 10 o'clock, an hour in, maybe a little bit less the medication, whatever Joe's on, and he's on something. We've seen that before in our presidents. Uh, it started to wear off. It's about equity and equality. It's about decency. It's about the Constitution. And we have never walked away from trying to require, require equity for everyone, equality for the whole of America. See, he starts to lose it a little bit. It happens. And I've heard that he's good for an hour or two. And then he gets shaky. We'll see if he shows up to the next debate. A um, lot of pressure on him or they're giving him a way out, actually. All right. Hunter Biden did come up again. Again, the president had to do it, not Chris Wallace. And again, it was shut down. Well, it's hard to get any word in with this clown. Excuse me. This, hey, hey this let me person. just say to you. No, no, no. I'm no. Mr. President. Three and a half Mr. million, president. Joe. That is simply Why did he true. deserve three and a half million it from did, Moscow? Look, here's the deal. We want to talk about families and ethics. I don't want to do that. I mean, his family, we could talk about all night. His family's my already... Family lost, lost, him, my family already lost wrote. a fortune by coming down ahead, and helping us ahead, with government. Ahead, and that's such a great... Every single one of them lost This is not about my family or his family. It's about your family. The American people. He doesn't... That's not true. It doesn't want to talk about what you need. You, the American people. It's about you. That's what we're talking about here. All right, that's the end of the That's the end of the segment. We're moving on. He didn't take them. Well, Vice President, very, it, it's, no. I, can it's, I be honest? It's a very important try to be question. Honest. No, I, he, I, stood I, up, no, he stood I, up. No, the answer to the question is no. Ukraine. It, no, I, sir. With a billion dollars, if you that get rid is of absolutely you know what, you're, wait, not you're true. Tape you're doing it. You're going to have tape. true. Gentlemen, is, <laughs> I, I hate to raise Chris, my voice, but I see it seems to be. Why shouldn't I be different than the two of you? So here's the deal. Good point. We have six segments. We have ended that segment. And that was it. Kept moving on. Chris Wallace was running interference for Joe Biden. And by the way, Chris Wallace never asked a really, truly challenging question of Joe Biden. You know, every question for the president basically was a loaded question, a political hot potato. You know, the taxes, whatnot. He didn't do that for Joe Biden. And I had a feeling this was going to happen. This is what happens when you become an icon, when you become full of yourself. And he's a bit full of himself. He believes his own press. I think that's what happened here. He's been getting a lot of press. Look at this. Chris Wallace is a hero 
and slides are his superpower. The little graphics things he uses on his show, we use them here too. That's a cute headline. How about this? Chris Wallace is uniquely qualified to interview Trump and uniquely independent at Fox News. This is just a sample of some of the stories that have been written by him. More recently, Chris Wallace, insider and outlier at Fox News. Anchor opens up about his childhood career and what he makes of his pro-Trump colleagues, as if that's a bad thing to be pro-Trump. And this story, I think, is the real key. goes a little bit deeper. His weekend home in Maryland on the shores of the Chesapeake Bay, where he has been working remotely since March. That's the key right there. Now, look, Chris, well, I know something about what people make in this business. He makes somewhere between $500,000 and a million dollars a month. In one month, he makes more than most people in this country make in an entire year, five years, 10 years. It's outrageous. And we put these guys in this position to reveal their bias? No. And while he was uh, at his home in Maryland on the Chesapeake Bay, this is what some of us were dealing with across the country. Scenes like this, a quarter of a mile from my house in the heart of COVID and the Black Lives Matter Antifa riots, we were experiencing this. Maybe that's why I didn't bring it up. He has no idea that this was happening. He brought up white extremists before he brought up the reality that this country is involved in right now. All right. I had a feeling this was going to happen. I had a feeling a couple of things were going to happen. Not everything did, but this certainly did, and I said it last night. Chris is definitely um, a mainstream guy, if you know what I mean. His bread is buttered in the swamp. Uh, veteran of NBC News, ABC News. I think he's going to keep a low profile tonight. At least he said he would, and there will be no instantaneous fact-checking, which always blows up in everybody's faces, never really works. But if he's going to give anybody a boost, I wouldn't be surprised if he gave it to Joe. But I am surprised he did it so overtly, uh, and we all saw it. And now I am sad because Chris is a nice guy. Um, he is. He's smart, not without talent. But what happened last night was a catastrophe. And he just gave an interview to The New York Times. This just crossed about 40 minutes ago. Take a look. Chris Wallace calls debate a terrible missed opportunity, and it's by uh, Michael Grinbaum. Uh, both men went to Harvard, by the way. And guess who he blames? Donald Trump. It's all about Donald Trump. He says he's going to do some soul searching, and he's sorry that he couldn't get a, I don't know, actually said the word sorry, but he could not control the debate. Everybody seems to agree with that. But my big problem is he was biased. He was biased in favor of one candidate, Joe Biden, and against another, President Donald Trump. You just watched Newsmax TV, America's fastest growing cable news channel now in more than 70 million homes. You can get Newsmax TV on your cable system or check your cable guide. And if your system doesn't carry Newsmax, call them, tell them you want Newsmax TV because we're real news for real people.